everybody so today we have here this is a macbook air that we have in here for a uh, liquid spill you can smell it you can't miss it because you can smell it so if you can smell it that usually means it's pretty bad it's probably gonna be a nice nice uh, have a nice time in here so let's go ahead uh work on the repair see what the issue is see where the corrosion is see where the damage is and get to it all right so we do have it here you can see the the coffee surrounding areas so it looks like the battery might have been impacted and close to the fan connection and just on the side there, right? I think this side is what? Oh, that's more of closer to the LCD connection that's been impacted. Uh, let's go ahead, open it up further. Uh, you can see nice corrosion on the uh, LCD connection there. Also the battery, it's definitely unplugged this. Let's make sure that the, the data is safe. Let's not make sure there's any short to the actual drive itself and that'll be fine. Make sure we take that out so there's no other problems. You don't have to worry about it, nothing. Okay, now we can focus on doing the repair for it. Let's just remove the board, take a look, and see. I do see there's a little bit of corrosion on this area. It looks pretty nasty, actually. See that? It's just the LCD connection. The LCD cable looks to be a little bit. Probably have to go under the microscope to take a look at that a little, a little further. We hope that the screen is short. But uh, let's go ahead, open up, and we'll take a look at it from there. <laughs> nasty corrosion there. Let's go over to the SMC here. Two. Uh, it's the worst thing you want to see is when it goes underneath the SMC. Um, especially something that happens like this, you hope that there's a short to the CPU. So let's go ahead. Let's we'll work on it. And then um, let's go ahead. Let's just start working on it. All right, so what we normally like to do is like to do a fix for it first and then clean it. But since this is the SMC, we want to be really careful. We don't want to push any dirt, grime, or anything underneath the SMC. So we want to make sure we clean it up first. We need to remove all the little glue that's around it and make sure we um, clean it. So we're going to go use our hot air. We're going to make sure we reflow it. And also all this reflow and all this flux is going to uh, make sure that the connections all on the side for all these other components are actually going to be reattached as well. A lot of liquid damage can leave corrosion and can leave stuff um, impacted where if we would just brush it off with a brush or alcohol, it might just knock it all off. So this would be a nice reconnection and then we'll make sure it's all fine and dandy there. Now, since we do see that this SMC actually does have damage that are going from the uh, at the pro point level, and you can see um, the the nice trace line there that it's actually is blocked. It's supposed to be like the other ones there. You're supposed to see this nice little gold color. Um, so what we need to do is we need to actually dig a hole. We're going to be digging for gold. We're going to make sure that we get a nice uh, even connection here, and we need to make a wire because that pro point is completely damaged and the pad is completely gone. So we're going to use some flux too to make sure we touch it up a little bit and make sure that it's, it's clean. Then we can also use a hot iron to do that as well. And we did have to remove this resistor to take it off and we need to replace it with another one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, clean a little, little bit better, make sure it's all nice and, uh, and there's no dirt, debris, food. Uh, we also have this other side here where it is giving uh, kind of the same type of situation. You see all the ones on the left, all three of those look to be good. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's gonna make sure that there's no um, damage from the trace line going to all the other components. So we, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go touch up a lot of stuff. We're gonna use some solder to help clean and we use a hot iron. And I know we're going a little bit back and forth here, but uh, just kind of showing this the same type of process that's going over here. We wanna make sure that these pads when we put the resistor are gonna be actually good and make sure they have a nice connectivity so we can clean it off and make sure that we have a nice connection here. Now we're gonna be putting back the resistor a uh, brand new resistor that we got and it's going to be nice but it's still not going to connect well because that probe point is a little bit too damaged so we need to make a wire going from the little part that we dug up a little bit to connect to from the trace to to the resistor we're going to avoid that bad probe point there because it's just too far gone there's too much damage to it so we're going to just make a wire which is pretty much doing the same thing anyway it's just a flow of electricity where it's going to go ahead and do it so it looks to be pretty good um, we're going to do the same thing on uh, this side here because this, uh, we can, I can use a hot iron to, to actually clean it up a little bit. The probe point is damaged just, just like the other one that we just did. So we kind of need to do the same thing here because it's too damaged and we're going to soon be doing <laughs> exactly the same thing. Um, but that's what a lot of corrosion does. That's what a, what a lot of liquid damage can do. It can damage a lot of probe points, not just the resistors or anything. And you have to draw, um, we have to make a wire that goes that connects it from to each side. So it's gonna have a nice connection to avoid the damage spot. You don't wanna be really fixing that damage spot because 
it's going to be a lot of work and uh, usually it's just a little bit too much damage there. So it's from liquid, so just do, doing this wire is going to be totally fine. So the LVDS connection, we were able to just clean and uh, it looks to be totally fine. There wasn't anything interesting, so they're not really showing that. But we're going to go ahead and test this and see if it works. All right, so we put it back just enough there to make sure we get something. I put the hard drive in too this time. I think it's going to work, so go ahead plug it in. Make sure it works. We hopefully we get an orange light, right? Oh, okay. So we got an orange light, green light, red light, <laughs> red light, green light. Looks good. At least power on. Let's see if it'll power. I'm gonna hold the option key so it doesn't go show the customer's data. Okay, that's good. We did get a noise, and okay, we're able to go to the boot menu. We see the Macintosh HD there. So everything does look pretty good. It's powering on. It's completely dead. But we did a fix around the SMC area. At least the SMC itself wasn't damaged, and that's a good thing. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us do a repair on a liquid spill for A1466 2017 MacBook Air. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Stay tuned and subscribe for a lot more of liquid spill repairs. We don't just do these models. We do lots of newer models, too. We uh, have a lot of M1 MacBook repairs we actually do on the channel. If you want to go check that out, and also we get them in a lot as well. So, stay tuned for those. And uh, anyways, guys, thanks all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.